G'day guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play July by Noah Cyrus, which is an awesome acoustic track. Now, if you wanna master your chords back to front, be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you wanna improve on your guitar, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. All right, let's jump into the lesson. Okay, so let's start with the intro slash verse, and there's just one line of chords here. We're gonna start with an A minor then a C slash B. So just lift your ring and middle finger and put that middle finger on the second fret of the fifth string. Now that is the only note we're going to need really, but you should just leave your index finger there because our next chord is a C and that requires that index finger there from the A minor. So C is our third chord. And then finally we have an F chord. Now you can play a full bar F chord like this or you can play it like this. I like playing it this way because it's an easier transition from the C. And the thumb will just come over the top and hit that first fret of the sixth string. Now for the first two chords, the A minor to the C slash B, we have a strumming pattern that goes like this. Down, down, up, down, down. And on that final down strum is where we're going to hit the C slash B. More specifically, you only really need to hit the second fret of the fifth string. So the A minor, down, down, up, down, down. And then we go to our C chord with a down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So. And then we go to an F for two of those strumming patterns. Now, in order to make it really sound like this song, what you need to do is add palm muting to the strumming pattern. Now, this is quite a subtle technique. You need to take the fleshy bit of your palm, rest it lightly on the edge of the bridge, too far in, the notes won't ring out, so it needs to be right on the edge. Now, when you are palm muting these strumming patterns, only focus on the top two or three bass notes of each chord. So for the A, for example, I'm only focusing on strumming these lower strings like that. So down, down, up, down, down. So C slash B and then to the C. F. Notice how I'm not trying to strum all the strings. And that's the real key to sort of palm muting strumming patterns. And the verse again. Next we move on to chorus number one and there's three lines of chords here. For the first chord we have C. Again, we're gonna continue on with that strumming pattern down, down, up, down, up, down, up and palm muted as well. We have a C and A minor after this and these are actually shorter strumming patterns. They're just quick down, down, ups. So down, down, up, down, down, up. So C to the A minor, and then we go to F, and we return back to our original long strumming pattern. So the first line of chords for this chorus number one. Then for the rest of the chorus, we're going to stick with that long strumming pattern. So we have A minor, C, F for two patterns, and then G for two patterns. A minor, and then finally a D, where we're going to strum and hold out. That's not palm muted. So the chorus in total. Now, of course, if that palm muting is too hard, then you don't need to do it. It just makes it sound closer to the actual song. Now, chorus two is almost identical, except we don't have those short chords, the C to the A minor. You're just going straight to the A minor for the long strumming pattern. So other than that, chorus two is identical to chorus number one. Now there's a post-chorus section after chorus two, which is just C, A minor, and F, and F again with those long strumming patterns, so. Mm -hmm. 
Next, we move on to the bridge, which is two lines of chords. Now, the first line of chords is identical to the verse. So... And you play that through twice. The second line of chords is a D minor, A minor, and F for two strumming patterns. And at this point, you can start loosening up your strumming pattern a little bit. There's not as much palm muting, so... That's played through twice as well. And that's it for the bridge. Now the final outro is, it's all a cappella, but if you wanna play the chords to it, it's G, hold that up for a bar, and then we have A minor and D minor. And that ends the song. So now I'll be playing through this song in its entirety and I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. A big thanks to my friend Amanda for lending her awesome vocals to this track. If you wanna check out her YouTube channel, there's a link in the description below. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to to practice playing along to and see how you go. Thanks so much, hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to head over to guitarsreadyhero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve on your guitar, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. You mean the word if you could hit that like button, hit subscribe, click the little notification bell as well so that you don't miss out on my updates. Please leave your thoughts, comments, questions, or requests down below, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.